You remember from chapter one, you've got the tools that live on the local menu bar. You have a left click tool and you left click on that toolbox and assign your left click tool by left clicking on it. Then you have a command click tool box and you simply left click on that box and left click to select whichever command click tool you want. So if I assign the pencil to my left click, the idea is then you simply use the pencil, draw in a region, hold down command, the eraser appears, left click, delete the region, let go of the command and the pencil appears again, etc. And then you can, if you want to, you can choose the pointer tool or whatever other left click tool you want by simply going over to the toolbox and choosing a different tool as and when you need it. And you've always got your command click tool when you uh, hold down command. Okay. Okay, so that's kind of how these two boxes work. And um, But there is uh, another way of selecting the tool for the left mouse, because uh, a lot of people like to just work with the left mouse. Uh, click without holding down command. And that's this. Watch this, right? Uh, I'm going to tap the escape key now on the keyboard. Oh, the tool menu appears. And then I'll left click and choose my left click tool. Draw in a region. Tap the escape key. Choose the eraser. And that's now my left click tool. Rub it out. Tap the escape key. Select my pointer tool. You'll notice that wherever I have the mouse, the menu always appears directly underneath the mouse. In fact, it always appears with the pointer tool directly underneath the mouse um, little little arrow thing or whatever tool you've got selected, right? So if you've got the pencil tool selected, all you have to do is tap escape and left click and you're guaranteed to get the pointer tool, which is quite useful. And that menu will appear wherever I, uh, wherever I happen to have the mouse if I tap escape. For example, now I've got the mouse hovering over the top of this track list column, right? If I tap escape, the tool menu appears right underneath the mouse, even up here on this grey empty bar up here. If I tap escape, the tool menu appears directly under the mouse, wherever I am. All right, So that's another way of selecting tools. Tap with the escape, don't hold down escape, just tap it. And that menu will stay there until you either select a tool with the left mouse click or click anywhere else and it disappears. So escape, select my pencil, draw in a region, select by uh, tapping escape, go down the list, left click on scissors, I've now got the scissors tool. Set this from bar to beat, I can chop that in half, then tap with escape, choose my glue tool, and then just glue those two back together, tap with escape, choose my eraser, rub it out, tap, left click, and I've got my pointer tool again. Simplicity, eh? <coughs> so that's another way of choosing tools. Um, you will notice actually if I tap escape again and bring up the menu, each tool has a number. 1 to 0, and the last three tools have got Q, W, E, and the idea of that is you can also select tools by going, by tapping escape and then the appropriate number after it, like escape 1, escape 2, Just you have to just nudge the mouse a bit and then the tool actually visually appears, escape 3, eraser, escape 4, yeah. escape 5, scissors, escape 6, glue, escape 7, solo tool etc and the last three escape Q escape W escape E okay tap left click and select so that's another way although to be honest that's completely daft if you ask me because you've got to use two hands haven't you escape one and then go back and grab your mouse so it's a bit daft the best way is just to tap escape and choose the left tool you want use it tap choose another one use it tap select your pointer tool, whatever. All right. Now that's how it comes out of the box by default. And when it's in that default mode, the right click of the mouse selects the shortcut menu. And that shortcut menu changes depending where you've right clicked. So if I right click on this gray background, I get appropriate shortcut commands that are taken from the local menu bar, men um, the local menu bar 
different command menus here, right? Uh, and it offers me an appropriate selection of shortcut commands depending on where I've right clicked. So if I right click on this grey background um, inside this track row, in other words the row leading off from this track and choose create empty midi region it creates an empty midi region. Okay, I can then uh, if I then right click on that region I get a different shortcut menu which offers me amongst other things cut, copy, delete select all, mute, unmute, convert loops to real copies, nudge left, nudge right, uh, export as audio file, etc. So the menu changes depending where you've right clicked. All right, so I could, for example, now click delete and that region would be deleted. If I right click, for example, on this track header in the track list column, I get another shortcut menu, which is reassign track object, which allows me to assign this track to another completely different object um, such as making it an audio object or whatever um, at the moment it's assigned to an, an audio instrument object we'll come to what objects are and everything to do with that uh, soon okay uh, all right clicking allows me to choose this configure track header uh, shortcut and that brings up this big dialog box where I can then configure whatever is appearing on my track header here which we will come to in this particular chapter all right so that's what the right click does when you're in default. Left click in combination with escape key chooses your tool for the left click and always the right click brings up a shortcut menu which changes depending on where you've right clicked. All right. But there are lots of other things you can do uh, with tools and uh, I'll show you those now. Quite crafty in fact it is. <laughs>